Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon. We are going to start with a new session in the Bariloche room. We have very, very interesting talks today. Uh, we are going to start with Ramiro Aznar. He's a geospatial data engineering at Planet. And he's going to talk about when geometry meets geography. Hello, Ramiro, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. OK, uh, I leave you to your talk. OK, yeah. Thanks, um, Alba, for for the presentation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, hola, chavalada. Um, hope you are all having a really great conference. Uh, this is a talk that I have already given several times this year, and it's about a book that I'm currently uh, writing. It tells the story of some of the geospatial applications that we are familiar with: GPS, geocoding, routing, web mapping, GIS and the tech and limitation that are behind these technologies. Um, it is half written, so there is a lot of research uh, and writing to be made, even interviews as well. But before um, we start, let me switch to Spanish just uh, for, for a second. Um, porque creo que, bueno, um, las cosas del corazón hay que decirlas con tu lengua materna. Yo no conocía a Malena, uh, solo de unos días uh, en el Fosfor G de Tanzania. Pensaba volverla a ver en, en persona en Buenos Aires eh, cuando esta conferencia se le celebrase, pero bueno, tengo muy pocos recuerdos de ella y lo mismo pasa con, con muchas de las personas que, que nos han dejado ya. Y para no olvidarlas debemos recordarlas, debemos contar las historias que conocemos de ellas a la gente que les conocieron eh, y bueno... <coughs> Así los recuerdos se, se fijarán y nuestros, bueno, uh, las otras personas con las que hablamos harán la, uh, alargarán la vida de Malena ¿no? y, y de las otras personas que, que nos han dejado. Bueno, uh, back to the talk. Um, when geometry uh, meets uh, geography. Uh, so, normally when we build, we, when we de develop uh, geospatial applications, our ideas, our code, Our apps look like this, right? So geometry is clean, uh, sharp, polished. But reality is more like this guy over here. Uh, geography is messy, dirty, and unfitting. And yeah, in this book, <clears throat> I'm going to give some some examples uh, of you know of the um, of this confluence, right? Of this um, this uh, meeting points. Um, so the, the first chapter of this talk, not the first chapter of the book, uh, is going to uh, tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you about the border. So during my time in Carto working in support, we usually got this type of image, right? So your map is wrong. So yeah, some map viewers contacted uh, us uh, telling, telling support that uh, Carto based maps were wrong. Uh, so uh, The, the boundaries that they were referring to were located mainly in disputed territories, such as Nagorno-Karabakh, Western Sahara, Kashmir. So, Carto base maps were built as many, many others um, on top of OpenStreetMap. So, they, we were using uh, OpenStreetMap uh, data. And, well, uh, there, there are some uh, interesting tags um, for... Um, to work with uh, this idea. Uh, we didn't implement any, any of them. We were using kind of the default. <clears throat> and, and also these, these tags were not been, uh, as far as I know, that they are not um, like uh, accepted by the, the whole community. Um, other base map providers use, this, uh, uh, use uh, on different, different approaches, different strategies. Um, to be honest, I, I have no idea how Google um, does it behind the scenes, but you can see here an example that if you are in Morocco, uh, you don't see the the, uh, the separation between the Western Sahara and Morocco. But if you are uh, living in Morocco, then uh, that's it line will be shown in, in your map. So it's it's it shows you um, um, the layers based on 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 your location. 
and some some layers that are available in in S3 servers and so on, they have also this this um, uh, yeah this um, a symbology um, of the you know uh, days four or solid four depending on uh, who is who is the viewer or where is the viewer. In Macbox, uh, there are only uh, four specific options uh, in the library um, plus the default, and that's uh, so they use like point of views, right? And this point of view can be uh, the default or um, um, China, India. Uh, Japan and the US. And I will bet that Mapbox clients are based on, on these regions. And as you can see, um, it is kind of uh, easy to implement, right? It's, it's, it's almost one line of code. And in this um, in this example, in this GIF, you can see like uh, how uh, the border is moving uh, depending on the um, Indian point of view or China's point of view. Um, so this that looks like again in our screens in our code. Uh, in reality, in the field, looks like uh, uh, looks like this. So this is, I think, this is a picture from the last conflict in Nagorno Karabakh. So there are wars, uh, migrations, isolations. So there are people dying. Um, so. We should be aware of these lines and the geography that they represent. Okay, so the the second chapter um, it's it's buffering, right? And I I will expect that many of you um, have done you know the typical workflow that is creating a buffer and then intersecting to get the points, um, and that's you know that's the typical. Um, Error, let's say, uh, and I have to confess that I have done it this uh, uh, several times uh, in my career. Um, so let's let's take a, a a look at another application. Imagine that you are an insurance company and you are covering the damage of an explosion. So your tool, the application that you you run to figure it out. Um, uh, which clients are covered and which clients are not covered. Um, the, the application uses a, a buffer, uh, a one kilometer buffer uh, from, from the explosion. Um, and, and you, you know, the, uh, you got a complaint from, from a customer that is telling you that he is already within this uh, uh, one kilometer buffer, but the application is telling is telling you otherwise. So who who um, who is telling the truth? Um, so this idea came from a really nice talk uh, from Sakari uh, Desiel. Um, I really recommend um, taking a look. Um, at, there is a link here in the presentation that will uh, point you to to the uh, to the talk. Um, so. The idea is that many of the geospace or all of the geospatial applications um, build uh, uh, buffers simplifying, you know, the, the geometry. The issue is that a circle is an infinite number of points uh, at the same distance of a of a center, right? And that cannot be um, that cannot be uh, model or or visualized in. In, in a geospatial application. Um, of course, uh, you can um, do uh, distance within, for instance, using uh, PostGIS, but if you want to visualize um, a circle, you, you need points to, uh, yeah, to, um, to uh, visualize the, the geometry. So that was the, the issue with the with this client, right? So uh, because the application was simplifying the, the geometry, at that point that um, green dot um, in the left side of the uh, left uh, corner in in, uh, in the in the screen uh, was left out uh, um, and it, uh, it was uh, outside the borders of the of the um, of the circle. And another another issue. Um, or another problem um, that we uh, can find uh, we find uh, when working with buffers 
is uh, we have experienced this um, during the last uh, lockdown. So um, I I don't know if you remember, but many many governments um, allow people to work a certain a certain distance from from their homes. Uh, in the case of Spain, it was up to one kilometer. So many applications, such as this one uh, that was uh, made by um, um, the people from Geomaticos, it showed you the the distance buffer, right, from 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 your place. But what happens when you have um, a, a barrier, right, um, such as a river, a highway, um, and you you know the the closer uh, park from your place or the closer hospital or pharmacy is within the, the, the borders of, of this buffer. But, but in fact, um, uh, if, if we use uh, an isochrome, so instead of using just uh, distance, the, you know, the, there will be uh, other places that are closer to, uh, to your home because uh, in this particular case, you will need to, to, to cross the, the river, that is Valencia, um, and it's a, a longer um, a longer walk than, than the other places. So the third chapter is about one of my favorite topics, that is uh, geocoding. Um, so uh, this is the um, this is the, the address. Uh, of a hostel that I went uh, like I don't know uh, ten years ago or so um, to, to to Costa Rica um, and for us um, Europeans it's it's kind of weird because we don't know if the um, the hostel is in uh, Avenue Six or is in is this in Street Twenty One or Street Twenty Five and what about this second line this de la Iglesia Sagrado Corazón uh, 100 metros norte, 50 oeste. So it's telling us like a relative position. Um, so um, it's uh, from one chart, uh, 100 meters north, uh, 50 meters west. So it's a, it's for us. It's kind of a it's strange. Right? So if we look at the at the map, um, this is the uh, street 25. Uh, this is the street 26. This is Avenue Six. So it's kind of framing us the, um, the where where the host hostel is, and also the, this is the chart that we were um, the, the, that the, the the second line was um, uh, was saying. So it, it tells us that we, we need to go um, uh, one hundred meters and then fifty meters uh, 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 in in uh, north north and west. So probably this is the place that we are looking for, and in fact. It is, but just to just to show you that, um, yeah, the uh, the way that the the the, the postal codes work is different from one place to another, and yeah, so I, I use the example of um, of Costa Rica, but of course uh, the Japanese uh, way of um, uh, structuring uh, street addresses is quite different. So it's using uh, blocks instead of street names. And, and what is uh, striking and it's kind of um, surprising to people who um, don't lo uh, live in, in Japan or in Tokyo is that the, the, the numbers of the blocks are being um, set up uh, based on, on, on the age of construction. So you, you will uh, really need uh, uh, someone local to the community or a, a geospatial application to, to move around. Uh, a Japanese city. Um, so these are just two examples to show uh, to show you the complexity of other postal codes in the world. But even our own ones, we assume too many things. And um, this is this is a link that shows you kind of a, a list of things that we we think it's real in when we uh, write. Um, let's let's say more occidental or more European or US centric kind of postal codes. Um, and there are many, 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 uh, uh, many issues concerning these, these, um, these assumptions. Yeah. So uh, next time that you 
type something in 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 a text um, uh, text box uh, uh, that it's going to hit a geo geocoding API. Uh, think about these things because um, yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing how they are able to translate these expectations. This um, uh, they know where our home is, right? Where, where we work uh, as well. So it's yeah, it's something that is really really interesting, and 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 I love um, doing the the research. Um, that in, yeah, that I've been uh, doing in in the book. Um, yeah, so the, the final chapter um, it's kind of a bonus. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to end this this talk giving you some ideas to think about afterwards. Um, so uh, there is a lot of debate uh, about how social media uh, like uh, YouTube um, recommends new content to to users. But I haven't seen any uh, similar approach in geospace as an application. Maybe I'm wrong and, and I'm, I'm missing something, right? So I can imagine something like the uh, Explorer of Planet, the, you know, the, one of the apps that my company is, is currently developing, that you are like um, exploring a, a part uh, of, <clears throat> of the world and you, you get uh, um, like an image. And, uh, so the application can uh, recommend uh, you. Okay, if you are, if you have seen this uh, harbor city that is in the north of Spain, maybe you are interested in a, another Spanish harbor city or uh, another North European uh, city or another city that is really close that it has also uh, a harbor. You know, so um, this is this is just an, an idea. Yeah, and. Lastly, yeah, I have been playing with OpenAI uh, GPT-3 uh, model, so you you can ask them uh, many, 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 many things, and and it's it's kind of amazing uh, how the conversation or how the response uh, develops, and and you can ask uh, the the model to um, you can ask the model uh, some geospatial uh, questions, and, and 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 it's quite. It's it's quite funny, um, but but what is so surprising is that most of the time is is, is accurate. So if you are uh, if you ask about the distance between uh, cities or how many cities are uh, within um, the range of you know uh, one kilometer from uh, from a specific place, because it has uh, a connection with uh, Wikipedia, I guess. Um, I mean that. It has been trained with all the these URLs, all, all this uh, data that is in internet. Wikipedia should be there as well, I, I, I guess. So that's that's really cool. So yeah, um, um, it would be great uh, if we can if we can have something um, like more specific for for geospatial. Yeah, that's that's something that it would be great to to see. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 it. Um, yeah, many thanks. Um, um, and yeah, if you have any any questions, um, yeah, let me know. Thank you, Ramiro. That was a very, very nice presentation. I really liked it. All the concepts uh, that you presented, sometimes we forget about them. So they are very important, especially uh, not forgetting that we are mapping territories that are inhabited by people and societies that influence them. and. We had to take them into account. So I think that was a great presentation. There were some uh, comments in the in the chat for you. A lot of people mm -hmm. is relating to these problems about different addresses, different codes, postal codes. Uh, so I think a lot of people uh, was also interesting in all of these concepts. Uh, please post, post your questions in the question pool um or comments here uh, a lot of people is saying thanks uh, great reminder of uh, key concepts and also uh wishing you luck uh with the research and the drafting mm -hmm. um so very nice uh comments in the venue list for you uh okay while i wait for more questions no, for now, 
uh, I will give the link to in the I will post the link of the um, templates so you can all have them. And if you wish, I will, uh, if you want, I, I will invite you to give uh, uh, this talk in uh, the university I teach because I think students will love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we, we can keep in touch uh, because I, I really like it. So congratulations for that. Okay, I don't see. Okay, I have a question here. When do you expect your book to release? Yeah, hopefully, uh, probably <laughs> the end of next year uh, or, yeah, <laughs> because I, I, as I said, it's half written. Um, so, and it's been one year since, since I started writing. The, the issue is that I'm not, I, I have to work as well. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's too much, uh, but I, uh, yeah, I've been having, uh, um a great time and also uh, maybe i will explain like one 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 month i don't know one month of one week of my vacation just focusing on on that and may, maybe i can speed up but yeah i would say like next year probably uh the last quarters of next uh, of 2022 20, yeah okay uh we are looking forward for that so there are some other questions have you found any reports of issues caused by changings in datums over time, locations moving? No, um, to be honest, I have kind of skipped the projection issue uh, because it's like a, yeah, it's a big, um, yeah, a big <laughs> Pandora box. And, and there are people who are more knowledge about projections and, and cartography. But yeah, I'm going to make a, a notation um, um, because that's a, a good idea. Um, yeah, yeah. OK, great. Um, are you going to make any maps for your book that you are excited about? Uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, because it's kind of a more a divulgative um, kind of book because I also tell the story of how these um, technologies have um, been built over the over the years. Yeah, the, there will be there will be maps, but uh, yeah, easy ones, uh, more schematics uh, than than yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, someone is asking uh, about boundaries in maritime domain, so in the sea, uh, but uh, he missed the, or he or she missed the first part of the presentation. So I posted the link of the slides already, but if you want to post also uh, your contact details, I can I can share in the venue list, mm -hmm. your email. Um, yeah, also, the, yeah, regarding the, the boundaries, the, the, the sea boundaries, no, I haven't because the, the, the chapter about the, the territories, the, the disputed territories, is not still written, uh, but that's something that yeah I, I I will need to to investigate as well because it's um, especially now with the Brexit and so on, uh, mm. it's it's interesting. Okay, great. If there isn't any more questions, I think I yep I tell them all. You can also then go to the venue list to see all the comments. There are very interesting comments in the chat and some feedback. So it was uh, very nice. OK, thank you very much, Ramiro. We yeah, can, <laughs> okay, we can you all. say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep in touch. Yeah, yes, I will write to you. <laughs>